Hey YouTube, Northwest Farm Dad here. This morning I woke up to an email I've been waiting for for probably seven or eight months, and that is that the Filson short-lined cruiser was back in stock. Now, this was in stock about a month ago in black, and black is the color and jacket that Rip Wheeler or Cole Hauser wears on Yellowstone, but I didn't want a black one, uh, and they also don't do the black one in um, long sizes. Uh, I wanted the Filson traditional tin cloth uh, tan jacket, and I needed a medium long. That's the size that fits me best. Got up this morning, I saw the email about 6 o'clock, uh, jumped on the Filson website, they still had medium long in stock, and I immediately purchased the jacket. Super excited. I had checked last month, and when the black ones rolled out, they showed as made in the U.S. with imported material, which I'm fine with. I want the jackets sewn in the U.S., on a whim, after I had made the purchase, I actually went back to the page just to verify that this jacket was still made in the U.S. And much uh, to my disappointment, the tin shortline cruiser is now an imported jacket. It is no longer made in the U.S. Um, this follows a pattern of Filson continuing to outsource a lot of their products um, overseas. Um, and there are very few products that are actually still made in the U.S. Um, I think the Tin Cruiser is still made in the U.S. Some of the um, Tin Bibs are, um, some of the briefcases. But uh, I think as a percentage of their total um, product line, uh, it has over uh, the pandemic and um, you know just over the last several years continued to decrease um, uh, in in the percentage of. Uh, the total product, uh, products that are coming out of uh, USA Factory in Seattle. I did email the CEO, uh, who's uh, been very responsive uh, to me, um, and he basically responded that um, it depends on the volume of the item, that they are still committed to U.S. manufacturing, that they are back up to full manufacturing um, capacity, but unfortunately... Um, this jacket along with some of the other classics just aren't made in the US. Uh, so this jacket is, I'm gonna not even gonna open it when it comes in. I'm gonna send it back. I'm not gonna pay $350 for a jacket um, that's uh, not made in America. So anyhow, uh, a little disappointed. I uh, just thought I'd share uh, this uh, little tidbit with folks. So anyhow, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.